Science, technology, engineering and maths are part of all our lives every day. But I recently discovered that just one in four jobs in STEM fields are held by women and that women who have managed to forge a career in STEM haven't always had the smoothest journey. I'm from the University of Strathclyde. I'm a molecular biologist. For me, science was just excitement and curiosity. Teachers were probably surprised that I wanted to study science subjects. I suppose their preconceived idea is that young girls wouldn't want to do that. When we're young, when we're at school, young boys and young girls equally love science. They find it exciting. Young people at school often say that science is one of their favorite subjects. They love it. I love science. We have science all around us. It makes people more aware of everything. You can make a robot, like, come to life. Without the science, where will we be? Having seen some of the girls taking part in workshops at the L'Oreal Young Scientist Centre, enthusiasm for STEM doesn't seem to be lacking. So what do some of the women who work in STEM today think the problem is? I think one of the biggest challenges for women in STEM is feeling that they're not welcome, that they don't belong. Yeah. If you only see men in a particular career, you will subconsciously think that might not be for me. Confidence gap begins to emerge. They lose massive confidence in their ability in science. That doesn't happen for young men. The gender imbalance in STEM should matter to all of us. Almost anything that you do involves science, technology, engineering and maths. Climate change, nutrition, transport, hair and beauty, everything. Everything is touched and shaped by professionals working in STEM. You do not want to limit the pool that you're attracting from. This is not just an issue for women, it's an issue for society. Something clearly needs to be done. So what can we do to make a difference? It seems that nurturing the scientist in every child can help maintain enthusiasm for STEM into adulthood. The L'Oreal Young Scientist Centre at the Royal Institution gives young people a chance to become scientists for the day. We want to give girls and boys the confidence to pursue science subjects later in their life. Recognising the achievements of female scientists is also important. It's my great pleasure to be the chair of the jury panel for the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Awards. The fellows and the highly commended candidates, they're fantastic role models. They are the young, relatable, rising stars that young girls can look at and can think, I want to be like them. The world definitely needs science, and science definitely needs women.